Ruben. Hey guys, uh, here at the hotel with Mr. Reuben. Uh, we had first night here and Carol and the kids are now having breakfast down uh, downstairs so I am managing Mr. Man here, keep him from barking in the room by himself. Plus we wouldn't leave him in the room by himself anyway. But uh, two interesting things from our hotel stay so far. Uh, one was a story from the manager that we checked in. Really nice manager here at the, at the Hyatt house and uh, gave her employees uh, She's working three double shifts in a row, she said, so her employees can be home for Thanksgiving, which is such a nice thing. But uh, uh, we were talking about dogs in general, and as I was checking in, and she told a story. She, apparently she has a lot of pet stories, not all of them good. But uh, just the other day, she had a pet owner who thought it was perfectly fine and perfectly reasonable to come down into the breakfast area and lay down four full plates of food for her dog in the middle of everybody to eat on the floor and um, that's not really, I guess, acceptable behavior for, uh, for staying in a hotel with a dog. And uh, so I guess bottom line is uh, let's not give other, other uh, dog owners uh, uh, bad names when we stay in hotels by doing stuff like that. What you do at your house isn't always acceptable uh, out, out and about. Anyway, uh, the other thing was um, last night with him in our crate. Uh, we did not bring the crate for him, which he sleeps in at night. And I know that's not for everybody, but at home, he loves it. Uh, we love it. There's completely uninterrupted sleep for both of us, and it's a good thing. Well, uh, we did not bring his crate this time around. We brought beds number five and six, I think, this being one of them. And um, uh, Carol had the, the pleasure of waking up at about 1.30 in the morning. It's one of those, uh, those wake-ups where you're completely disoriented, but apparently something woke her up, and that something kind of looks like, like this who was sitting on the floor at the side of the bed, uh, staring at her and uh, wanting to play or do something. So uh, she had to get up and manage him for a little bit until he went uh, back to sleep anyway. Um, and then at four o'clock in the morning when I got up, again, he was all excited, shaking his butt. So uh, having the ability to leave his bed and as soon as he sees one of us uh, is a little bit sleep disturbing for, for him and for us anyway. So, um, Again, we don't travel too often, so it's not a big deal, but that's one of the reasons why the crate thing works for us. But so far, so good. Um, he's been a good boy. No accents or anything in here, and no uh, no drooling on the furniture. So he's, I know, I know you don't drool too much, but anyway, you seem shocked by that. Anyway, all is good.
right, Ruben. We gotta leave early, buddy. We're heading home. We'll have you in your bed soon. That's gross. That's really gross. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>